Hey everyone, happy Saturday. It's me, it's Julie from Living Large on Lifetime. It's about one o'clock and this is the first you've seen of me because I have been working, I have been grocery shopping, all kinds of regular Saturday stuff. So I did not walk to work this morning um, because I went to bed so late um, and also my regional manager was there today so I did not want to risk being late at all so I did not walk to work today so you did not see me walking to work um, I did have my regular coffee my Americano from Starbucks for zero smart points I used one tablespoon of fat free half and half for zero smart points and one of the Weight Watchers Cafe Creations Mucho Mocha for zero smart points. So I have had my coffee so far. I did not make my tea this morning. I was just too tired. I think I was like barely functioning. So I did not make my tea. I'm making my teeny skinny tea right now. And I'm gonna have that with some lime juice and some ice and get all refreshed and energized and then take a nap. <laughs> my Fitbit said I got like three hours of sleep so I'm tired right now. I'm going to go film a grocery haul, drink my tea, take a nap, and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Okay, guys, it's about 5, 10, and I just woke up from the longest, most hot, and uncomfortable nap of my life. <laughs> I guess I could say I do feel better, though, so that is good. So this is what I'm having for snack, and we are headed out the door right now. So I'm having some grapes. For zero smart points. Here is my outfit of the day. It is my Minnie Mouse skirt. Hey guys, so we are on the way to the comedy show that we're going to tonight. We're going to a place called Flappers in Burbank. So we are going to see somebody Conair. No, I wish it was Adam Sandler. I think her name is Jen Conair from The Real Husbands. I don't know. Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> we don't really care. We just like going because it's just it's just funny and it's it's a fun time and we always have I always have a good time. Do you have fun? <laughs> Look at this face. Poor Eddie. With the Poor line. Eddie. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's a long story. Anyway, so um, I just had the grapes and actually, okay, it's been like 20 minutes since I had the grapes. We are on our way. We are going to have sushi first. I'm going to have sushi. Eddie's probably going to have his usual chicken teriyaki. So here's my plan, my food plan for the night. I'm going to tell you guys. You probably already saw it in my video yesterday, but I'm going to run it down for myself again too. This is my plan. Hopefully I stick to it. So we're going to the sushi restaurant right now. I'm going to have sashimi salad without dressing. So I can have 16 pieces of sashimi, which is raw fish, 16 pieces on that salad for only two smart points. And then I will also have my sangria for 16. That's at the restaurant. Then we're gonna walk over to the comedy place and you're supposed to get there an hour early to get good seats but honestly I think it's because everybody orders a drink while they're waiting so we're gonna go there and wait to get in um, so when I have a drink outside I will have a mojito and I will have that the way I've described to you guys before it's only three points it is just the rum club soda lime and mint and that's the way I ask for the bartender to make it can you make a mojito for me with just club soda lime mint and rum <laughs> I totally said that out of order so that is three smart points when you make it that way then once we get into the comedy club there is a two drink minimum so I'm going to stick with mojitos because they are actually lower in points than wine um, so I'm gonna have my two mojitos inside the restaurant once you have more than one it rounds up so my three mojitos total for the night will be 11 points so that's all well and good and that's totally doable then, if you guys watched the video from yesterday, you know I got a fabulous deal on the tickets, which included a pound of chicken wings and either cake or cheesecake. So in a perfect world, I would say no and no, but I'm not gonna sit there and have that staring me in the face and already have some drinks in me and say no. That's... Why don't we just say box it up? Because now I want them. So I'm gonna have four chicken wings 
pound of chicken. I, I wonder how many chicken, I wonder how many are in an actual pound. Maybe it's like eight. It's probably like 12. I'm guessing it's like a dozen chicken wings. So I'm gonna try to have four chicken wings. There are seven smart points each, so that is 28 points. And then I'm going to have half of the cheesecake. I'm pretty sure Eddie would rather have the cheesecake than the cake. Yeah, he likes cheesecake. So half of the cheesecake is nine points. So that is my planned night, and that brings me to 60 points for the whole day, for a Saturday. That's where I'm going. Okay, I forgot to tell you guys about this little fiasco. Mm. If you watched my grocery haul today, you'll see that I specifically bought this. This is the CoverGirl Olay. Remember, I just bought the foundation, the CoverGirl Olay foundation, um, which I love. It's just wetter than I am used to, and I'm used to a very dry, powdery finish. So now that I have a little bit wetter foundation, now I need a good powder to go over it. So I decided to check and see if CoverGirl Olay teamed up. Um, the whole, you know, line also did a powder, an overall powder, and they do. So I got it. The foundation was twelve dollars, so not cheap. Not as expensive as, as Sephora and Ulta's uh, creamed powder foundation, but twelve dollars. This was eleven dollars. So not any cheaper. So the combination together, I'm now up to $23. Whatever, if it's good, um, it's still better than 20 bucks for one compact. Anyway, so I got it home. I got it at CVS too, so it may be cheaper at Walmart. I got it home and while I was trying to open it, the compact itself broke, the lid broke off, and the whole thing fell to the floor and everything crumbled out brand new. I was so mad. So I took the receipt out of the garbage. I'm taking this sucker back. I'm gonna get another one, but I just want to warn you guys, if you try this, be very careful trying to get it out of the package. Okay guys, meal number one, complete and delicious. I am trying so hard not to complain about the heat, but to step outside after 7 p.m. and it's still 97 degrees is just miserable. And I'm well, so over it. I didn't think it was going to drop from 107 to like 50 in like half an hour. No, was it 107 earlier? So it's, ah, uh, I'm so over it. It's also very smoky here. Like, I don't really smell it, but there are a lot of fires in. Burbank right now, so not the best to be walking out and about. Eddie with his poor, I don't know, poor Eddie because he doesn't sweat a lot and he can't drink water. He can't drink fluids. So when he gets overheated, he just can't drink. So he's extra miserable in the heat, but you're alive. You're doing good, right? <laughs> he looks a little parched, but he's alive. Anyway, first dinner, Delicious, not overly satisfying because um, without the rice in the whole sushi deal, it's just not as filling. So, but I did exactly as planned. I had the sashimi salad. It had 10 pieces of sashimi on it. Um, so then I ordered another, I ordered an order, one, one order serving of tuna sashimi, and that came with six pieces. So that hit exactly my 16 pieces of sashimi for two points. I had, there was a little bit of avocado on the salad, but not enough to count a point for. And I also had a little bit of the ginger dressing, but not enough to count a point for. So it was very good. Um, I had my sangria and now we are walking towards the comedy club. 